the bunny, the bunny. Ooh, I love the bunny. 100% gonna be binge watching uh, Veggie Tales these coming days. Hello, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met already, hello, hi, the name's Quinn. It's very nice to meet you. I am 23 years old and I normally do not look like this, but I feel very festive and very bored in quarantine today. So I decided to dress up a little bit with my face and make myself into the Easter bunny. I am filming this on Easter, so happy Easter, everybody. Today, I'm gonna be going over my, I guess it's the quarantine budget. I think that's what I decided to labeled this as a quarantine budget since I'm not actually stuck in cash right now. Normally I follow the cash envelope method in terms of my budget because it's just easier for me to be able to take control of my budget that way. I swipe my card way too easily without like paying attention to how much money I'm spending so having cash is really easy. But money is scary right now. <laughs> like we don't want to be touching a lot of things and transferring things between people a lot so we're just gonna be doing a quarantine budget and keeping track of our spending as well as we can with the spending log. If you wanna see what that looks like, I do have my bullet journal video. You guys can go watch it. I'll probably put it down below somewhere and you can see how I set up my spending and income logs. Right now, Ryan and I are still waiting on the uh, stimulus package to come in and any kind of an unemployment type of things to happen. We don't have any letters yet from either of those to so let us know like the further steps that we need to take. We've both applied for both of them just to try to hopefully make some kind of money <laughs> these coming months. Hopefully only weeks, but like months. So there's no income to keep track of this week, but there are some bills coming up and our normal weekly spending. So without further ado, grab for yourself a tasty snack or a lovely beverage. You guys already know I got my coffee. It is almost over. I'm almost finished drinking it because it's been a long morning. <laughs> And let's just get right into the video. Okay, so getting right into everything here. This is my Dingbats journal. I use it for my bullet journaling. I really like the company, so if you want, you can go ahead and check them out here. It's a dotted grid journal, and the pen that I love to use is this Pilot G 2.05, and it's a constant rebuy for me. All right, so how I have everything set up is I have my weekly to-dos here on the left. It's my weekly setup, and then my cash envelopes here on the right. So let's get y'all all zoomed in so you can see what I'm writing. Okay, so the way that I had typically budgeted before, especially working food service, is that my paychecks paid for bills, and then my cash tips paid for weekly spending. But as you know, I'm not working right now. So currently, everything is just coming from basically savings right now. Both Brian and I had been saving up individually quite a good amount the past couple of months. So um, fortunately, we're okay for now, but we do, we are really hoping that the unemployment and stimulus package hits really soon. So just going into everything here, gas is going to be, I think, $10 has been good. So far, we've just been going grocery shopping, basically, getting little knickknacks here and there for the house. Food. Last week, I think we went under budget, which was really good, but $100 seems to be doing pretty well. We are gonna need to go grocery shopping. If not today, then tomorrow, because we're getting kind of low on food, but we didn't need to go grocery shopping really last week. So it was pretty good. And then toiletries, I'm gonna say another 10, because I know that we do need to get like pencils and toothpaste. <laughs> All right, and so now the bill's coming up. So the bills that I'm sharing are gonna be just my bills on my side, basically. So the things that I like came into the marriage with. So Invisalign is my Invisalign, you know, um, my little teeth fixer uppers. So that is $200. This is just for the upcoming week of things that are gonna need to get paid um, up until Sunday. My car loan that's coming up, which I do need to call them and try to see if I can lower the payments right now, because right now it's at $427, um, which is quite a lot. I think currently I owe about $10,000 on it still. So with the way that the world has been going, hopefully if I can call them and see if I can bring it down a bit, that would be really nice, but who knows? I honestly, like, I don't know. I need to figure out how I can do that. And then Adobe, which is my creative cloud suite that I have. It's how I edit everything and put together, you know, design stuff. It's basically like my online work thing. Yeah, okay, so that is $30. It's gonna be coming out. And so the total for everything here, weekly spending, I did not write that down, my bad, is $120 that we're gonna be trying to spend this week. And then bills, so this is basically everything that I need to make sure that I have in my checking account. Um, ready to go by the end of the week, which is 6.57. Cool. 
So I just need to make sure that I have that amount in my account um, when all these bills hit for this week, which should be good. I should be fine, and then hopefully that stimulus package hits this week. If not next week, if not, then oh, stress. <laughs> okay, but that's gonna do that for that. Uh, nice and easy peas. Okay, so that's gonna do that for the budget for this week. It is, again, still kind of weird not stuffing cash envelopes, but it is really good for me personally to be able to write down everything because I can see visually how much money that I need to have in my account as opposed to being like, oh, I have this bill coming up and, and that bill coming up, but I need to make sure I have money for it. But this way I can see like, no, you need to make sure that you have $657 ready for these bills coming up. Because if I don't see that and I don't know that, I might overspend that very easily. Me, myself, personally, this is how it works. <laughs> That's why the cash envelope system worked so well for me before. Speaking of cash envelopes, Pusha, these cash envelopes, the ones that I get from Budget Like a Boss Babe, you guys know, you guys have seen them, they're really cute. She actually gave me a discount code here for you guys. <laughs> what? I know, it's crazy. I love working with her. She's been super nice. She's so awesome. She's from San Diego, so she's like a, ca a local California girl. I say local, I'm not local anymore, but she's like a local California girl. She's really awesome. And she gave me a discount code for you guys. So that's going to be down in the descriptions now of all my videos. You can use them whenever. It's 15% off of your purchases, which are really nice. Her envelopes are super cute and they are just, they're really, really well made. I've had them for almost a year now, so it's great. Yeah, I know that I still look like a bunny and I'm probably gonna keep this on all day. But last week I did kind of get in my feels when I was talking about everything and I really appreciate you guys. You guys were so nice in the comments. Everything is definitely stressful for everyone, but normally like I do see a bright side for everything. I am very well aware of how temporary this can be for a lot of people right now. But last week I just needed to get like a bunch of stuff off my chest. I didn't realize I needed to get a bunch of stuff off my chest, but it was there. It came floating off. It was, <laughs> it was just, it just happened. So thank you guys for listening and all those words of encouragement. They're very much well appreciated very well received i love it loved you guys love you guys all the time love it love it love it what am i saying as you guys might have noticed i uploaded a lot of videos this past week i say a lot i just uploaded one more video than i normally might have because i had filmed quite a bit the past month a little bit the past couple weeks kind of in preparation for this not really but kind of like i knew that i was gonna want to be having some pre-recorded vlogs coming out for you guys but now there's a lot more that i could be uploading for you guys so <laughs> be prepared and ready for a lot of content coming your way if you guys like the video go ahead and give it a like if you want to see more of my face and see me try to conquer the human race go ahead and subscribe you can find me at all of my social media at quinn Kalen. We could chat, DM me, we can become best friends. I do like the friendships of the internet because I cannot leave the house right now to make other friends in the real life. So internet friends, they're the best. Speaking of the best, today's doggo of the day is Ching. Look at that smile. She is so cute. She looks like she was made to be out in the wild, just adventuring. I would love to go on an adventure with her. You know, watch a super fun, family-friendly movie about this dog going on an adventure. I like to be part of that narrative. If you guys want to see your furry little pet, dog, cat, kitten, ferret, even a lizard send me a snake please <laughs> like actually send me a physical snake i really do want a pet snake but no if you guys want to see your little companion featured in next week's budgeting video send me a picture on instagram or twitter either way dm them to me because it just makes me happy seeing all these fun little pets i love and appreciate you guys oh so very much and i will see you in my next video bye I couldn't find my nail cutters, so I painted my nails pink with the idea that I was going to turn them into Easter eggs. Um, and then I realized I'm too lazy to do that, so they're just pink. Happy Easter, you guys! What's an Easter song? Brian, what's that Easter song? What Easter song? Yeah. It's like, when Jesus walked, when Jesus walked, when Jesus walked. That song? No idea. Nope, okay.